everybody. James Skitchy Zimmers from the PTC, the Paul Reed Smith Technical Center. Basically, the PRS Repair Center. Um, we're responsible for artist modifications, artist builds, customer repairs, customer modifications, some private stock builds. Yeah, basically the R&D and Repair Center. I'm here today in the middle of quarantine, coming to you from my basement, and I'm going to do a little Q&A, answer some questions. I'm going to be in the comments, wherever you keep your comments, um, during this video, for a while afterwards, uh, answering any other questions I can get to. This question was, how do you check the intonation and how do you correct it if it is off? So first thing we're going to do is tune and then I'll show you how to check your intonation and then how to repair it if it's off. The intonation should be one of the last things that we do. We have put the strings on, we've set our truss rod adjustment, we've set our action. The next thing we want to do is stretch the strings, tune it up, stretch the strings, tune it up. You want to keep stretching strings. Now I stretch strings. I'll take the string, I'll put my left hand under the string, right hand with the thumb over the string, and really give it a stretch. Usually at first they'll drop almost two steps. I probably stretch and tune eight, nine, ten times during a setup. Just stretch, tune, stretch, tune, stretch, tune, do some setup work, you know, set your intonation, stretch, tune, stretch, tune, over and over again. A good tuner is imperative for that. I use strobe tuners, strobe style tuners. I've got a strobe stomp, Peterson strobe here. I've got an old school legitimate strobe tuner over here and then uh, I've got the fractal one set up for today. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and we will get it tuned. Also when tuning I always go to the neck pickup and set the tone around 7 to 8 and what that does is it removes all the overtones that you would get if you have tone all the way up, bridge pickup, you get all these awesome overtones which are great for you know distortion and all that stuff, they feed off of that. But when we're tuning, we want to hear the root of the note. Uh, all those overtones are reasons you see tuners jump all over the place. This will give you the note that you're tuning to. Let's check the intonation on the A string. So we are in tune on the A string, and then with your playing grip, play the 12th fret. You can see I've got, I'm in tune here, and I'm flat here. And the reason it's important to do, with, do it with your playing grip strength is just watch what I can do with this, just with grip strength. I'm moving it almost a third of a, a note just with how I can grip it. So always do it to your playing strength. If you set it up with super light touch and then you come in, you're just mashing on your strings, you're gonna be out of tune. So the trick that I used to remember is flat forward. If your fretted note is flat, you move forward. So since my A note is flat, I'm just gonna take my screwdriver and move it three quarters of a turn forward and let's see what we get. You can see it took it, you know, almost a whole half step flat. So make sure you tune it back up. We're gonna try that A string again. We're closer. So let's move a little further. Oh, I'm a little sharp, so I've actually gotta bring that saddle back a little bit. So if your fretted note is sharp, you're going to move the saddle back. So there we have it. Fretted note, or open note, fretted note. We are dead intonated. Uh, just do that across all your strings. If you're playing a set of tens or anything with a plain third, you should end up with a stair step along those lines. If you're playing something with a wound third, it will look closer to that. So that's just an easy way to tell. If, you've, if your intonation looks like that, and you're playing a set of tens, you've got an issue somewhere and you need to look at it. They almost always set up in a stair step of some sort, maybe not that extreme, maybe even more extreme than this, but it should be around this. So I hope that answered you into the intonation question. Once again, I'm Skitchy from the Paul Reed Smith Tech Center. I'm gonna be hanging out in the comments down here, over here, wherever you keep your comments at. I'll be there. Let me know what you think. If you have any other questions, hit me up. 
Peace. Mm.